What's good? What's good, everybody? Hey, family. Come on in, come on in, come on in. What's going on, peoples? What's happening? What's happening, gang gang? What's good, Rana Mom? What's happening, everybody? So this is what I'm going to do today, you know, being that we just had Pisces new moon yesterday. I feel like we should take a look at what's hidden. Okay, so I'm going to do all 12 signs. I am going to start with Pisces. Happy birthday, Pisces, because it's their birthday. Okay, so I am going to start with them, and then I will uh, pick signs according to what you guys drop in the chat. Okay, but let's start with Pisces, because it's their birthday, all right? So that's what we're going to go and do first. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple cards see the overall energy for my Pisces gang gang and you have things are not as they appear okay 12th house energy that's what we're talking about okay the lower the price of your love the higher its value brain freeze okay so I feel like um I'm getting a touch of rose-colored glasses or not seeing things clearly. I believe Neptune is still in Pisces, which definitely can cause that. You also have, you'll find what you seek, okay? If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, someone fun and fantastic, chances are astronomical you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person chances are astronomical you will it's up to you so you know you could be starting off uh new okay you could have left a situation but i feel like you know maybe you left that situation with a lot of unknowns okay uh projections of why you think the reasons are and i feel like that is not the case whatever it is that you were thinking is not the case all right we're gonna take a four card spread for Pisces at the moment, okay? Four cards spread spirit. Can you show me the situation, please? Can you show me the situation for Pisces? You've got the Ace of Cups with um, the Ego card. The illusion of being trapped. Accept, accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or unhealthy habits, right? Let's keep going. Spirit, can you show me what's coming towards Pisces, please? You got the Knight of Fire. Okay, so I feel like, you know, uh, you might have felt ghosted, okay? And now I feel like you, you're going to find out something. Spirit, can you show me what is uh, Spirit's advice for this situation? What spirit's advice for my Pisces gang gang? What spirit's advice? You got the queen of wands with the hierophant, okay? I think uh, spirit is saying you need to set your own standards, okay? And then also, uh, most likely outcome, queen of earth. That's what leads you to be the uh, quintessential spouse, okay? The star, all right? So you're being pulled towards something. It says, have faith, the future is bright, dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light is at the end of the tunnel. So I feel like, you know, you, you got to stay a little um, grounded right now, okay? You're reaching the conclusion of something for the new beginning, okay? So you got the Ace of Cups here, and it says... A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relation, or a deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities and spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. So there's something new here, okay? But I feel like it came after some type of sadness, okay? You got the Ace of Swords, okay? Two Aces to start off with, okay? Love and truth, clarity. I'm getting the energy of self-love. You chose something, okay? Could have been after an argument with a Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just anyone in that energy that made you see something clearly about yourself, Pisces gang. You got the ego card here, okay? 
somebody couldn't get out of their own way this is like the devil card okay with uh, the justice card coming out cross and two of swords so their ego was more important okay than doing the right thing and it cost them valuably now you might have felt like it was painful for you but i promise you that this knight of wands with this five of cups is going through it because of some type of choice they made but they're not going to show you that eight of wands they are trying to communicate with you with the three of swords you may be blocking that connection right now because you feel like it was very hurtful but the six of wands you are going to come up on the winning end okay the knight of wands also wants to win uh, with you because it was right under that okay you got the queen of fire here and it says, brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. So it's like, because of how something worked out, it's like you're a flame to do something new, to start something. Eight of Pentacles, you could have thrown yourself into work and new collaborations, Okay. Win or lose, five of swords. It's like you're saying, I can show you better than I can tell you. You thought you were going to break me down. I'm going to show you what I could do next, right? And the Hierophant is here. Spirit, why is the Hierophant here? And I feel like this is going to be for two reasons. It's as if you want to keep your faith in yourself. But also, it's like... Um, it makes this person... Because it feels like you're choosing yourself in some way. Yeah, two of pentacles, right? It feels like this person is uh, second guessing a choice that they made or a mistake that they made, okay? Yeah, because of the star, because it's like through this, okay? So this person in some way was a catalyst for you to force you to, to recognize something about yourself. It was really never about them the whole time. But now that you have recognized this thing or you've been lit up or cracked open in some way, it's like you're beaming light okay and it makes this person want to return okay generous practical gracious materialistic the ability the ability to make anything more beautiful a love of family and home be practical about how you proceed a love of art and beauty sensible approach and the four of wands right so now all of a sudden this person feels the need or the desire to to be next to you I just want to be close to you. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands. And it's like passion returns, okay? But the devil is like, that's how you see them. You see them as like bringing toxicity or this negative energy, right? And then you have at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. Like, you feel like every time they come in your sphere, they fuck your shit up and they make you like, you know one minute it's an extreme high and the next minute it's an extreme low okay so it feels like you're trying to find some balance and that is your high priestess and the moon so i feel like you're trying to not respond to their messages okay so let's um let's see what else is going on for pisces before we move on busy and distracted and that's what you're doing you're trying to keep yourself like that okay and this person feels blocked by the fact that you're you know out and about and doing your thing okay keep the faith okay i feel like that's what spirit is telling you okay i feel like before the end of spring some situation breaks with this person okay whether it's closure or whether it's you um you know them returning to you and telling you that they want to fix something but either way it has to do with your magnetism and this magnetism is coming through thank you for the rose my love thank you guys for all the love this this magnetism is coming through as a residual from some kind of pain or incident that that basically you feel cracked open thank you my love good afternoon to you too okay so let me clear these but I feel like, you know, you might have had a rough close of the year or the start of the new one. And um, it's it's like inspiring you, okay, to like choose yourself or something. Okay, so what sign shall we do next? I see Aquarius. Let's go, Aquarius. Spirit, can you show me what's coming from my Aquarius gang gang, please? 
what's coming for Aquarius what's good my loves what's good no Gemini is not first I'm, what's happening is that when I finish a sign I look up and I, I pick a sign that's on the screen I'm not scrolling all the way back up to the top okay and spirit decides what what sign is going okay I didn't write them down I don't have a pen with me and I'm not going to get in a back and forth. Okay, Spirit, can you show me? All 12 signs will be done. Okay, Spirit, can you show me for Aquarius? Okay, you have love doesn't have to mean near and it came out in reverse. Some are better loved at a distance for a while anyway, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Tally ho. This feels like somebody that is dealing with some type of long distance relationship or is you is or is you ain't my baby, right? Earlier disappointments were just a rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Never regret love. No matter how blind, it improved your vision. No matter how foolish, it made you wiser. And no matter how generous, it made you more. Hubba hubba, the universe, right? So spirit is, um, you just joined. What's happening here? I'm looking at all the signs, okay? And what, what each sign can't see because it's the 12th house energy, okay? I wasn't trying to get into a back and forth. So if things are done differently, that's fine. It's just today because I don't have a pen, okay? So now um, that's what's going on, all right? So it feels like something that occurred is pushing you to a new, a new season, all right? You're looking at something as a regret. Spirit's telling you, no, it's not a regret. It's like for the wisdom that you need to continue. No, I only did Pisces and now I'm doing Aquarius. I just got started, guys. Okay, so it's like something had to happen here. Okay, and you're looking at it in a negative light. But think of it like, uh, and I was just kind of saying that for Pisces, you know, sometimes... We have to go through certain situations, right? I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you're a single mom and you went through hella stress being a single mom, okay? It was a deadbeat dad, right? Whatever, right? And then your child joins the football team at nine years old. And you end up marrying the coach. You may not understand that that was the person you were supposed to meet. And without that child, without that whole experience that you went through with that other person, you would have not met that person. Because you wouldn't have had a son to go on the football team to begin with. Okay? So sometimes we're looking at situations that we see as tragedies or as negative, and they're really catalyst moments to things that we can't see. Okay? So I'm getting that feeling. So Spirit's telling you, you know, it is what it is. Don't look at something as, oh, I fucked up. How stupid of me. Right? Even if there was some silliness involved in it, right? Even if there was some silliness involved in it, right? You also, we, this is how we learn. This is what we came here for, okay? So you got the four of cups for the situation. Okay, can you show me what's coming towards Aquarius, please? What's coming towards Aquarius? Okay, you got balance, all right? So you're going to get your footing again. What is spirit's advice? Okay, you got the king of water. Okay, so, you know, keep your feelings a little close to your vest, I feel. Okay, and most likely outcome for Aquarius, please. Most likely outcome for Aquarius. Most likely outcome, please. Ooh. Give me one second, guys. You got the hermit and the devil. All right, so let's... uh. Let's take a look. We're going to clarify these. Spirit, can you show me? Why is this four cups here for Aquarius, please? Five of wands, right? 
So uh, the five of wands usually denotes some type of competition or something outside of ourselves, right? But you've got this with the four of cups and it says fall, failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up, right? And I feel like you might feel like you missed an opportunity or something didn't go your way and it's giving you this whole hum feeling, right? And the conflict isn't from out external, it's from within, because it's not realizing all the other aspects that are going well. It's looking at the cup as half full instead of, I mean, half empty instead of half full. Okay. And it's because something has um, devalued your experience or that's how you perceive it to be. And with the balance card and the two of wands, but spirit saying you hold that key to that vibration and staying in that energy that only you can rectify something okay with seven of swords yes this person could have deceived you but are you deceiving yourself by thinking that the only way that you can prosper or be happy is through this person because that would be disingenuous at one point you were happy without them right so you got the king of water, right? So anytime we're feeling like that for something that's outside of ourselves, it's because we feel we lack something within. And the key is to look at what that particular thing is. With the three in, three of swords in reverse, spirit is telling you to stop showing how you feel to everybody. It's a need to kind of like, you know, you could be calling this person and telling them how you feel wanting them to you know offer you something but as long as you are concentrating on what didn't go right you can't get what's coming what what opportunities could be coming to you with the page of pentacles okay so it's a need to like kind of um switch your perspective okay now you got the hermit here for um the most likely outcome with the ego card okay which is the devil you got the Knight of Cups coming out cross. Spirit's telling you, you know, you might take a break right now. Okay, so whether this person tries to double back or whether somebody new comes in, I feel like right now, Aquarius, you kind of want to um, go within and heal some things before you get back out there, okay? And then you have here the Ego card, okay? And the Ego com card comes out in the world, okay? But what you really did was you you broke you broke free from some type of toxic energy that was going to hold you back, okay? It was something that you needed to to overcome, okay? And it could feel like uh lonely, right? So, for instance, you could have uh a friend that was toxic. Right? But you spoke every day right so now it's like although you're trying to break the habit of the toxic friendship or the toxic conversation doesn't mean you don't miss the companionship so it's like you're you're trying to break that cycle okay you're trying to break that cycle and i feel like that's really a good thing let's take a look at what spirit wants you to know for closing messages I feel like spirit is telling you not to see things as a positive or a negative. That there was a need to re-examine what you were adhering to. Okay, you got energy cleanse, okay? And vivid dreams. Spirit just said the closure you didn't get. From this person in the 3D, you're going to get it through the dreams because they are also trying to transmute some kind of energy here. I feel like by autumn, okay, by autumn, you're going to have like something new coming to you, okay? This person is going to get stuck in the hot and cold, okay? They got stuck here. Fear and anxiety, all right? So that's what you would have been doing if you were to stay with them, okay? But you got abundance as near and union coming, okay? I feel like you meet this person in the summer, Aquarius, okay? In the summer. 
all right so um look forward to that i feel like the next couple of months there may be a clearing of energy so that you can prepare yourself for like something new okay but the key to this is going to be purging the idea that it was somehow um gemini is coming next um, that it was somehow, you know, a failure, okay? It was part of the journey, all right? Gemini, gang, gang, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Let's go. You're welcome, my love. Okay, karma is on your side. And it says, if you could read all the minds that I read, hear all the prayers that I hear, and beat all the hearts that I beat, I wonder if you even believe how often you're thought of, talked about, fallen in love with. It's payback time. Andale, andale. Sign the universe, right? So I feel like what Spirit is saying is, you know, there could have been something you were overthinking, but I feel like the tide is turning. And Mars is leaving your sign, finally. Mars is leaving your sign, Gemini, okay? So this is going to open things up for you. This is Gemini, okay? You are adored, and it says, don't be fooled by the players, and don't be fooled by yourself. There's no one more lovable nor loved than you, and I know everyone, all right? So, um... You might have thought that you didn't leave a uh, lasting impression on somebody. I feel like you did, okay? I feel like this person uh, doesn't want to give you that. I can't go for that. You want my body, now you want my soul. Ooh, forget about it, now say no, no. Right? So this person's trying to play it cool, okay? They trying to play it cool, Gemini. I see them. I feel them. All right? So let's... Uh, Let's see what uh, Spirit has to say to you guys. Spirit, can you show me? Okay. Hi, honey. You new here? What's good? Okay. So, Spirit, can you show me what is the situation for my Gemini gang? What can't they see? What's hidden from them from the 12th house? Can you show me? The Empress, bow, bow. If you don't want to get pregnant, you already know what to do. Okay, Spirit, can you show me the situation? I mean, um, what's coming towards them, please? What's coming towards Gemini gang gang? What's coming towards Gemini gang gang, please? What's coming towards Gemini? You got the King of Swords. Give me one second, guys. Sorry. King of Swords. Spirit, can you show me what is uh, Spirit's advice, please? What's Spirit's advice? What is Spirit's advice for Gemini? Thank you for sharing, my loves. What's Gemini's advice from Spirit? You got the Knight of Pentacles, slow and easy. Spirit, can you show me the most likely outcome for this situation for my Gemini gang? Okay, you got the Awakening. It came out across at the bottom of the deck. You got the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you're overthinking something. And I said that before with the karma on your side. You're worried about something. I feel like you're worried about whether this person... You might be like, yo, I always... Um, like, let's say you met somebody. They asked for your phone number. Okay? And three days have passed, right? And let's say uh, normally they call by day one, day one and a half, right? And you're like, this is crazy. Why did they ask me for my number? I don't understand. It felt like we were vibing because this person's trying to act like they're taking it cool, okay? So the Empress Spirit, why? With the King of Pentacles, okay? So uh, this person, they could work a lot, okay? But this person uh, has taken notice of you. You look like a bright, shiny object right now, okay? And it comes out with the Nine of Swords. They may think you're a little too bougie for them, all right? Now, you have the King of uh, Swords here with the Ten of Cups, okay? Some of you, there's two people here. You met somebody new, but you could be dealing with, uh, you know, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This also could be you. You could be very discerning about what type of relationship you want. Okay? Um, but I feel like there could be two people.
that are buzzing around you one that you've been with for a while and somebody new okay if that's the case my uh feminines okay speaking to well I could be speaking to the masculines too be very careful about extracurricular activities if you follow what i'm saying okay because um paternity test let's just say okay so you got the knight of pentacles here with the devil right take things uh slow i'm hearing let's wait a while before it's too late let's wait a while before we go too far right so it, it's something slow okay and you have the awakening card with the knight of swords and the awakening card is 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 crossed and it says a temporary pause for reflection and insight an awakening where you see things in a whole new light embrace your own uniqueness charitable actions spirit is warning you this is for gemini spirit is warning you to slow down slow down right because this is your card gemini the lovers right and the fool you fools rush in right with the queen of swords you may have regrets okay so you know especially if you're in a committed relationship okay but if you're not in a committed relationship i feel like one of these two situations has a lot of potential okay and so that's why spirit is telling you to slow down okay so that you can see things clearly and not just go with what feels good it feels good right spirit can you show me can you show me please for gemini thank you you have speak your truth new perspective winter and healthy boundaries right how winter kills okay so the winter may have given you some new perspectives okay and you may need to speak some things into existence to live the kind of life that you want okay uh i feel like you could have been dealing with somebody in a no strings attached relationship okay but this person uh they have a situation going on this was the rules of the game it feels like you actually have met somebody that is worthy of pursuing i feel like this other person is stamping their feet i feel like spirits telling you go ahead and you know put some healthy boundaries okay because the other nothing from nothing leaves nothing you gotta have something if you want to be with me right so this person isn't even offering you something but they want to lay down the rules about what you could do with your free time that shit's not gonna work okay so that's what i have for my gemini pursue what you know what you feel has potential babes okay and don't let you know comfortable positions or people that you've been dealing with for a while tell you they have some stake in the claim because if they did they would have done it already okay so that's what i have for my uh gemini gang gang let's see who else taurus i see taurus there let's go taurus you're welcome my love taurus gang gang pull up Pull up, Taurus gang gang. Pull up. Spirit, show me. Okay. So you have. Things are not as they appear. Same thing as Pisces had. Okay. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze. Okay. So don't like devalue yourself. Or you may think that people don't see you. People do absolutely see you. You've got time. Okay. Don't rush. Okay. Ever wonder what makes life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever? Forever. Wildly in love and loved wildly. You have so much to look forward to. Right. So I feel like spirit is saying uh you know and this too shall pass okay this is taurus right so i feel like what's happening here is like there could have been some smaller uh setback or um discouraging news okay but don't let that taint the whole picture right now turn on your love light it says sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy works for me right so concentrate on what is going right concentrating on <clears throat> raising your love vibration even if it's not working with one person okay because i feel like this will pull more frequency of love all right so let's let's get you guys some tarot spirit for my taurus gang gang working on healing you right for my taurus gang gang 
What do they need to know, please? What can't they see? Can you show me the situation? And you have the Seven of Pentacles. Something's growing, but not growing the way you want it to, okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles, that also means that there's a, it's like you have to be patient about something. Okay, Spirit, can you also show me what is it that's coming towards them that they can't see? Can you show me? Four of Cups, okay? You're still not sure or you're not sure if you're going to want something, okay? And then can you show me Spirit's advice, please? Thank you for the hand heart. What spirit's advice, please? I have not done Virgo. I have done Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, and now Taurus. Spirit, can you show me? And you have the seven of wands for spirit's advice, okay? Uh, I feel like um, the seven of wands is talking about... Um, healthier boundaries or seeing your worth and then spirit can you show me the most likely outcome for my taurus gang gang please can you show me most likely outcome for taurus most likely outcome for taurus two of swords coming out cross you're not sure the sun you got about to get that illumination though okay with the knight of cups something that you're not clear about an offer that shit is going to get cleared up okay so let's 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 take a look you got the seven of pentacles here as the situation spirit why why is the seven of pentacles here with the knight of pentacles okay so you've laid the foundation for something but it's moving so slow that you can't tell anymore and you got the seven of pentacles again here okay So with the strength card, somebody could be resisting seeing something your way with the ace of swords, okay, and the two of swords and the hermit. This resistance could be coming from somebody else because I feel like there's a truth that has to be seen. Maybe they have to say something to you, but they also have to, like, recognize something within themselves, okay? And so you could be trying to be patient right now with somebody or trying to be patient so that you can get the clarity you need. You got the four cups here. Okay, with the knight of swords, okay? So there could have been some words exchanged or will be that leaves you unsure about the choice that you should make if it was a good choice queen of swords should you just bow out okay could be dealing with a gemini libra and aquarius you got the seven of wands here in the position of spirits um advice okay so spirits telling you to put up some healthier boundaries okay and don't just give in but try to be balanced and fair Okay? I feel like this other person it can't read you either. So it's like you're both not able to see what the other one is thinking. And it's making both of you send out mixed signals. Okay? With the two of swords here as the most likely outcome. Somebody could be holding back from communicating with you because they, they were deceptive. Okay, and maybe they feel like if they tell you the truth, it will be a missed opportunity with the Page of Pentacles. Or they're trying to keep an opportunity going with you. But there's so much conflict with the Three of Swords because it's like you can... You're waiting for a response. This person would, would prefer to start over... This is for Taurus at the moment. Let's let it pass. This is for Taurus at the moment, okay? So it feels like this person would like to fix something, but without having to clear something up. And I feel like that's the part that you're resisting. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get into uh, your closing messages. Spirit, can you show me? Yeah, inner strength. And you need to call on your inner strength, okay, to be able to compromise. But at the same time, 
be able to stand 10 toes down for what you think is important okay a twin flame this could be a breakup to make up situation taurus okay and feel like you're at an impasse with the stuck card out here anything else for taurus gang gang okay hidden emotions okay and life-changing decisions okay dazed and confused so you know inner child healing okay and end of a cycle counsel and therapy inter eternal love and ego death so it's like for this person there's a lot of fear attached and i feel like there's attached fear for you too because it's almost like you you're afraid to hear what they have to say maybe you're both afraid uh to uh speak the truth about a situation but i feel like you will and i feel like you know it it ends up leaving you in a position where you get some clarity okay and important conversation okay signs from nature so i feel like there will be a conversation with this person but it's gonna be after both of you's let the walls melt okay so that's what i have for taurus gang gang okay so we're gonna um clear these and move on let's see sagittarius let's go sagittarius Spirit, can you show me Sagittarius, please? Can you show me Sagittarius, please? What can't Sagittarius see right now? 12th house energy. What can't Sagittarius see, please? Sagittarius. Be true to yourself, says. Okay, you were born with that it quality, okay? um it says you may not ever understand what's going on in their life but you can always figure out what's going on in yours okay so you know i feel like you were left without some closure you were born with that it quality and it says do you want to know what's really beautiful confidence do you want to know what's really powerful persistence do you want to know what's really sexy please i know all about sexy not needing to be needed and if still they don't notice your good looks your strength and your sachet could you feel more sorry for them right so i feel like uh this is um you trying to get back out there or feeling like it's time for some self-love okay let me get this deck spirit can you show me what is the situation what is the situation for sagittarius please what is the situation for sagittarius what is the situation one card please what is the situation the ace of wands okay passion okay maybe you're getting me stella got her groove back maybe you're getting that fire coming back okay spirit can you show me also what is coming towards them that they can't see four of wands with the three of swords okay so that you could have been living with somebody okay you could be moving but i feel like it's due to an ending okay and even though there was this ending or there's about to be one it's like you're passionate for the new beginning spirit can you show me what spirit's advice is please what is spirit's advice for sagittarius please what is spirit's advice for sagittarius too many spirit what is spirit's advice for sagittarius what is spirit's advice for sagittarius one card please thank you and can you uh show me most likely outcome for sagittarius please most likely outcome Ten of Cups. All right, at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. You could have been blocked by somebody or you could have blocked somebody because they were moving fucking shysty. Okay, or they weren't like showing you what you deserved. Okay, you got the Ace of Wands here. Okay, with the King of Cups, I feel like the passion could have been funny. Okay, this person could have been acting different. Okay, I feel like they were wearing a mask. I feel like they're insecure. I feel like this person's usually very ju judge, um, like jealous and judgmental and clingy, right? But there's something strange afoot with this person's behavior. 
with the ten of wands here okay with the nine of swords it's become like a stiff air between you and this person and it's been ruminating in your head like i don't know what's going on with them right with the three of swords it could have been a breakup right out of nowhere or something crazy like that with the eight of swords and the seven of wands you could be trying to ask them what the problem is they don't want to communicate it to you they're resistant to conversation. Like I said, they could have blocked you. Okay, you got the 10 of uh, swords here with the star. Okay, you saw a future with this person. But Spirit's saying in some way that what they're doing to you causes you to like, you know, get off of your path in some way. Right? And I feel like, you know, look at you having to leave something behind that you really wanted, but this is actually going to lead you to your path, okay? You may not recognize it. I feel like this person's going to want to double act, a double back, but with the two of pentacles, <clears throat> they'll keep putting you through this shit, all right? So you got the ten of cups here, spirit. Why is this ten of cups here? for Sagittarius okay I feel like this is the reason why you feel open and passionate and ready for new things is because the spirit is trying to show you that you're about to get that committed relationship that you want with the queen of pentacles here you could be meeting a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but I feel like the the queen of pentacles is the quintessential spouse so although this person remember what it says um, be true to yourself and uh, you were born with that it factor, okay? Uh, it feels like this person may not have seen your value, okay? Um, but somebody else is about to, okay? So let's get you guys some closing messages. Spirit, can you show me? For Sagittarius, signs from nature. You saw the writing on the wall, okay? You kind of felt something was going on. Self-sabotage, okay? This person does it a lot, okay? And life-changing decision, okay? Because you felt stuck, okay? And isolation, that's what they were doing to you, okay? But it's like you've been cracked open. You could be dreaming a lot. I feel like autumn is when you meet this new person, okay? And meaningful coincidences. Somebody that you... Somebody right now that you're around, I feel like is going to bring you into proximity with this new person. So let's say you're at a barbecue and uh, this person is a guest or you're you're it's something like that where you meet somebody through somebody else. OK, so that's what I have for uh, Sagittarius. OK, so we're going to uh, clear these and move on. All right, Cancer Gang, let's go. Cancers. Cancer Gang. Spirit, show me Cancer. You're welcome. Okay, you have those you love, love you. And you have what it takes, okay? So let's take a look at these. Those you love, love you. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching, okay? Secret admirer, right? And you have what it takes. Always follow your heart unless it's been broken. Then you must... Then you must lead it back into love p.s did you know that hearts are never too big to mend too small to rebound or too tired to love again somebody's taking notice of you i feel like you could have been single for a while or the last breakup was rough okay so i feel like there's something here that's making you question do i want to do this is this person really scoping me out yes they are scoping you out and yes this is a situation <laughs> spirit show me Show me, please, what can't Cancer see right now? What can't Cancer see right now? And can you show me what's coming towards them? And can you show me what spirit's advice is? What spirit's advice, please? What spirit's advice for Cancer, please? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Too many. What spirit's advice for cancer? Spirit's advice for cancer, please. One card. Okay. 
and most likely outcome. Thank you. Oh, they threw it. Hold on. Okay. You've got the three of earth collaboration, a new collaboration coming, huh? With the six of cups. Oh, feels like somebody wants to come back, right? And then you have the ace of earth, okay? But you could have said to yourself, I am not getting involved with anybody that doesn't have something to offer me financially or stability wise because I did the whole heart thing and that shit didn't work out, right? So now, you know, it's got to be, you know, love and love and money, right? With the world or else I'm not involved, right? So you made a decision about what what kind of relationship you want because do off of some experience you had in the past with the knight of pentacles here and judgment i feel like you waited on this person and they didn't come back in a in a reasonable amount of time so you closed the books on that situation but i feel like they're getting ready to double back you got the king of fire here okay with the seven of pentacles but you're not really sure if this if you want to be invested in this, okay? With the King of Pentacles coming in here across because there's something that they're doing that makes you unsure if this person is financially stable. So they check the boxes, but you're like, I don't know because I was with somebody like you before and you could be financially irresponsible or something with the Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person they take risks and that's what's making you not trust you may feel like this person is a player in some way or they're just live by the seat of their pants in some way and you don't like it okay with the nine of wands and the seven of swords i gotta say that this person is gonna pull they're gonna pull your cards they're gonna pull your cards in some way this is for cancer they're going to pull your cards some way, okay? So they're going to tell you, you know why you're resisting? Because you're lying to yourself. Because the truth is you feel the vibes between us, but you don't want to give into it because you are trying to find fault in this situation so you don't have to get back out there. And that is going to kind of like, they're reading you like a book, okay? So with the four of wands coming out cross, spirit, why is that? Why is that the most likely outcome? Okay, with the three of wands, okay, I feel like you're kind of going to entertain them, but you're not really sure if you see a future with them. If you're, It's like you're still trying to build your own happy home without this other situation that happens. So it's like you don't want to throw yourself all the way in. But the Ten of Cups is here. I feel like this person does feel like they're a match for you. And they are trying to offer you something, but it's smaller because they feel like you're already running for the hills. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's... um. And they could have been with somebody who only judged them by finances. So even though you're not really doing that, you're just trying to make sure that, you, you know, that there's something more valuable than just uh, love or whatever. It could be a flat, a red flag for them. So just keep that in mind. Spirit, can you show me? Uh, I did do uh, Gemini. It will be up on my youtube later end of a cycle coming out crossed okay so this new person you you think that you're gonna just kind of like you know uh push them aside with your regular shit of like dismissing people but this person isn't gonna go um they're not gonna take that route okay with the open up they're gonna wear you down cancer <laughs> They're going to wear you down, okay? Past life relationship. This person feels like there's a connection there that needs to be explored, okay? And what you need to do is the inner child healing, all right? Patience, okay? This person has a lot of it. They're not going to just let you quit, <laughs> okay? That's what I have for cancer. Let's clear these. Okay, Libra. What's good, Libra? Come through. Pull up. Hey, from Jersey. Pull up, Libra. Let's go. Pull up, Libra. Let's go. Spirit, can you show me? Yeah, he's a Virgo wearing you down. Okay. Some are better loved at a distance, right? 
and start where you are okay so it says some are better loved at a distance love that doesn't have to mean near okay for a while anyway and that's okay besides love doesn't really know the difference there could be distance between you and someone you're in a relationship with start where you are the great thing about feeling deep profound earth-shaking love is that it can start with anyone okay so i feel like right now things are in a pause for you you may feel a little down i feel like you need to be around people that will help lift you up okay spirit can you show me What is the situation for my Libra gang? What is the situation for Libra, please? Situation for Libra, Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, can you show me what is it they can't see coming towards them right now? Okay, Six of Earth, can you show me what is Spirit's advice, please? Six of Cups and what is most likely outcome, please? Most likely outcome. Too many. Too many spirit. Justice. Your card, Libra. All right. At the bottom of the deck, nine of swords. You're overthinking something right now. I did do Pisces, babe. You're overthinking something right now. Okay. I'm hearing what's love got to do, got to do with it. All right, so let's take a look. I have not done Aries. Queen of Pentacles, Spirit. Why? Five of Wands. There's conflict and it's causing heartbreak with your partner, okay? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Six of Pentacles, Spirit. Why is that? There's a lot of emotions, but things are hard right now, so it makes you feel like should i continue to give to this does this person see what i'm contributing and they could feel the same way i feel mirroring okay with the six of cups here for um spirits advice six of cups six of swords it's it's a need to talk to resolve things to go back okay to go to calmer waters okay because it feels like it was an argument okay and with the justice card here spirit why it's like um Three of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Swords, right? So it's like one uh, disagreement causes everything to go off kilter, okay? Events don't happen. Eight of Wands, there's a need to communicate so that moving forward can happen, okay? With the Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Moon, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You both want the same thing with the King and Queen of Pentacles coming out there together. What it is, it's like nobody wants to... Um, to take the first step nobody wants to uh extend the olive branch libra that's what it feels like and you could be overthinking something or uh, blowing something up out of proportion spiritual awakening there's something that needs to be seen from the whole situation about the lack of communication messages from spirit okay take control spirits telling you if this other person isn't uh you know making the effort you you know you may need to speak up okay take a risk okay temptation because while this is you know the stagnancy is happening it leaves room for other situations okay It's like you're tempted to make bad choices or the other person is. So it's like they need to, you need to talk, okay? There's a need to talk here, okay? And I feel like both parties, that was Libra, both parties are, are being a little bit stubborn, but you both want the same thing, but it's like nobody wants to give in, okay? So um, what's the next sign? Leo, let's go. Leo, I have not done Virgo. You hear the owl? Spirit, show me. Or Leo, you have don't be misled 
When fear speaks, it's always wrong unless being chased by wildebeest. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Game on, right? So you're afraid, okay? And it feels like afraid of love, okay? You are destined for greatness on the wings of love, you see? And to clarify, the primary roles of love are not to heal, fix, mend, not to soothe, cure, or ease, not to refresh, rejuvenate, or restore. Hardly. The primary roles of love are to Yahoo and Yiha, right? So it's like that you know leo you could have been stuck in the energy of like everything is um has to be hard you gotta go through shit right and spirit's telling you to call in a different frequency okay that this may be the season of you know love feels good and love should be easy why does it have to be hard okay so let's take a look Spirit, can you show me what is the situation for my Leos, okay? Can you also show me what can't they see coming towards them? Thank you. Can you also show me what Spirit's advice is? Thank you. And can you show me what is the most likely outcome for Leo? Too many, Spirit. What is the most likely outcome for Leo? Thank you. All right. The world, okay? So... Seasons change, feelings change, right? I feel like you're letting go of something. Okay, could be a belief of how something should have been. Okay, you got the three of swords for the situation. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth comes from challenges, healing, misunderstandings, being there for those in need i think you're rebuilding something okay you could have had a rough 2023 okay with the three of cups five of cups and the two, high priestess you could feel like let's say you're in a long-term commitment still you could feel like this person was unfaithful right or there could have been an ending because of someone you know stepping out Okay, with the Ten of Cups and the Judgment card, there could be a thing of like trying to rebuild the relationship, okay? Especially feeling like the male Leo uh, masculines or masculine Leos, they could be rebuilding a relationship with someone that they kind of made some mistakes with, okay? And then you got the King of Wands, which is you, and the Eight of Wands, okay? Definitely masculine energy, trying to step up, Okay, but there's some confusion here. Okay, you may be wondering if it's too late to double back after something happened that the Ten of Wands is here and the Two of Swords. So Spirit's advice to you is to understand that this person can't see the situation so clearly, especially if you hurt them. Okay, with the Four of Wands, that's the most likely outcome and it's crossed here with the Magician. Spirit, why is that? Queen of Cups, they care deeply for you, but whatever transpired between you, it, it has made them feel like the relationship lacks harmony or that it's not peaceful and they don't know if they can trust in it. With the Magician, they could feel that you're sneaky or they were sneaky and like it's like trying to get past that with the Queen of Swords, okay? For this to work, you could have been dealing with a Gemini or an Aries or a Scorpio, but it feels like for this to work, it's like somebody has to really be forthcoming okay and apologize and take responsibility for heartbreak all right and you know it could have been you that caused it could have been the other person but either which way it's like a real unearthing conversation has to take place okay about how something was codependent Okay, but I feel like this person's going to make a generous offer. It's like they want to rebuild something. See you as the divine feminine. Spirit, can you show me anything else for Leo? So many. But I'll give you the, those quickly that, that came face up. You got self-love. Uh, new friendship coming out across. I feel like this person does come back with the runner. Okay, I feel like they ran or they did something that sabotaged it. But I feel like this person's gonna learn a lesson while they were away, or this is you learning a lesson. And uh, you know, uh, there's a restart, but it's gonna take some time. Okay, that's for Leo. All right, this it's like everybody's getting their 
their realization or they're taking their tough medicine to see what should be saved and what should be let go of. Okay, so that was Leo. Uh, Virgo, let's go. Virgo gang gang. Spirit, show me Virgo. Show me Virgo. You have you'll find what you, you seek and it says if you're ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing awesome fun and fantastic chances are astronomical you will get will again if you haven't found such a person chances are astronomical that you will okay so you if, i feel like you're manifesting love okay and you needn't worry there's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you and they're all just learning how to show it big sillies okay so uh somebody has problems showing their emotions this could be a new person or somebody that you've been dealing with okay so let's take a look spirit can you show me for virgo right Or Virgo. For Virgo, please. You have uh, the four of water. So you're not sure about something anymore. Spirit, can you show me? Um, what can't they see right now from my Virgo gang? The wheel with the king of water, spirit, spirit advice, and the most likely outcome, please. Thank you. You have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're definitely overthinking something. But that is Virgo's energy, okay? You got the four cups here. You're not sure if you should even be giving to something anymore. The nine of pentacles cross because it makes you feel insecure in some way. Okay, you also could be changing careers in some way with the wheel coming out with the ace of pentacles. There's no opportunities to make money. And I feel like somebody's coming back around to offer you something. Okay, with the king of water here. Okay, I feel like there's somebody who does offer you things, but they manipulate it through you through it. Okay, so it's like could be a capricorn but it feels like this person anything they give you they expect something so it's like they're trying to keep you and, and you're thinking like it's it's you being codependent but it's them actually like trying to keep you codependent or make you codependent okay with the high priestess here spirit's advice to you is to keep quiet okay keep quiet with the chariot cross because you're not ready to go or free yourself from something okay with the five of cups and it, you know this person if you showed them that you were trying to exit they would cause havoc right so spirits telling you to hush and to do your things and your preparation to free yourself from a situation behind the scenes okay with the four of air here meditate on it this is for um, Virgo right now. Meditate on it because you're going to find out that you're not as interested or bound to it as much as you want and start manifesting the outcome that you want. You're more powerful than you believe. OK, if you can see it and envision it, you can go. OK, so you will get a chance for that new beginning. OK, but right now you need to buy your time and prepare your plan. OK, Let's not spam the, the chat with all this other shit about health recovery and, and all right, don't, don't get blocked, okay? All right, so let's see final messages for Virgo. Okay, counsel and therapy, all right? I feel like you need a friend or someone that you can discuss this with about how to, how to have a, a, a exit, okay? And keep the faith, okay? Because I feel like you... You are definitely walking away from something, but you need an exit plan and not everybody needs to know what you're doing. Okay, twin flame. Okay, this person, you know, they 
they know that you're the divine feminine okay heartbreak is what you're going through okay it's like you need closure okay because what they do is they punish you in some way to try to lure you back in with ghosted and spirit is like maybe it's time for you to ghost them keep quiet get your th things in order so that when you make your exit plan you know they don't see it coming so they can't punish you in advance got it okay so uh i believe there's only a couple of signs uh let's do capricorn we haven't done capricorn he's the virgo yeah it could be flipped spirit can you show me capricorn please what's going on with cap gang cap gang pull up cap gang pull up you're welcome Okay, so you got prepare to be astounded, send them love, wish them peace, see them happy, everyone always forever, and be prepare to be astounded, the universe, P.S., oh man, and will you ever become a big time manifester? So put out what you want to receive because it's coming towards you. You are adored. Don't be fooled by the players and don't be fooled by yourself. There's no one more lovable love than you, and I know everyone uh precious sign the universe this person really does um i feel like they have feelings for you but for whatever reason you're reading it in a different way okay uh maybe they have trouble showing emotions okay spirit can you show me what's going on for capricorn What's going on for Capricorn? I'm on Cap Gang. What's going on for Capricorn? Scorpio will be next. Capricorn. You got the Page of Swords. Yeah, there was a cutoff, okay? You may not have seen it coming. Something came from left field, okay? And it kind of knocked the wind out of you. Spirit. And somebody's not explaining their position with the Seven of Wands coming out crossed, okay? Spirit, can you show me what's the advice from Spirit? There's going to be illumination and you're going to see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Spirit, can you show me um, most likely outcome? I can see all the obstacles in my way. One card, please. Thank you. All right. So you got balance, okay? So temperance, you need to some healing, okay? And that's kind of like what's blocking you, okay? But what you want to receive, put out there. Because I feel like you're going to be pulling that towards you, okay? So let's, uh, page of uh, swords is coming out with the seven of wands. This person is resistant to speaking. They're resistant to speaking to you right now. And you feel like you lack some type of closure or something. You got the seven of wands coming out across their stubborn as fuck. Okay. And with the ten of cups, happy life, happy wife, happy family. So you could feel like, is this the end? I gotta know. I gotta know. Right. With the knight of cups coming here. You're wondering if they're dating someone else. Or they could be wondering that about you with the sun here. Coming out crossed with the Ace of Wands. I feel like what you're discovering is that, you know, although there's emotion here, there's a lack of passion at this time, okay? And uh, with the most likely outcome, you have the Page of Cups, an apology, seven, seven sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody messages regarding relationship, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitation or events, heightened psychic abilities. This person's going to um, contact you, but it's not going to be all that you want it to be. Be all that you can be, okay? Because they're awkward as fuck is what I feel. Uh, this is Cap right now. They're awkward, awkward as fuck. So they don't know how to make like a smooth transition, okay? So what they're doing is like the way they do it. This person got a lot of rough edges, okay? They got a lot of rough edges. And so, you know, instead of just sitting down and saying, oh, I'm sorry, like they, they do it in a very awkward and clumsy as fuck way with the justice card here and the four pentacles crossed, it makes you like, now I'm holding back. We're like, ugh, like that's not what I wanted. But the six of wands, there's like small victories. 
and you know that this person's paying you attention, but they're not. It's like they're awkward as fuck about emotion, okay? And they, they come off foolish to you, but at least they're trying to take some action, Capricorn, okay? And, you know, you may feel stuck at this time, okay? But Spirit's telling you to take your time, be patient, okay? I feel like in the end, there is some justice in this situation, but right now, it's like they are pulling away from you because they haven't digested something. They don't want to deal with something. They don't want to look at something, Right. And it's making you feel like, uh, you know, everything is up in the air. OK, but you need to take some control back of your own uh, situation and stop giving them so much mental headspace, renting space in your head. Spirit, can you show me what else does Capricorn need to know? OK, hot and cold. That's exactly what this person is doing. OK, abundance is near. Spirit's telling you to concentrate on something else right now that will be more fruitful for you. Anything else for Capricorn? Right. Inner strength. This is what you're getting. OK, but right now there's a lot of mirroring. It's like they don't want to talk so now you're like well why the fuck should i you know be stressing even though you are stressing right so spirit is telling you like kind of get a hold of of what's going on with you and heal some things and this will help you stay you know more centered while all of this is going on i feel like this person does double back it's a question of whether you're going to want that when they do okay so let's do scorpio scorpio gang gang come through scorpio I did do Libra. Spirit, can you show me Scorpio? This will be up later. I have not done Aries. Scorpio. Show me. Forgive and reverse. Scorpio, you all know how y'all be. Okay, so it says here, of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from an adventure. Go for the gobs. And you're like, hell no, we don't go, right? And then you also got start where you are. And it says the great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. Okay, so spirit is saying that, you know, it's like you closed off a piece of love. <laughs> Okay, it could be one person, but it feels like it's spilling out to other situations because you're a little salty with this person. They did something, right? Spirit. Can you show me? What is the situation for my Scorpio gang gang? Okay, Queen of Wands. Okay, you're very fiery right now, but it's like with the get back energy. Spirit, can you also show me what is uh, it they can't see coming towards them? Okay, uh, the Hierophant. Spirit, can you show me what is it that Spirit advises for them? Thank you, the Sun. And also, what is the most likely outcome for Scorpio, please? Strength card. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is justice. You will get justice in this situation, okay? Spirit, Queen of Pentacles. And you know how this, the, the, the TikTok goes, if I get my lick back, if I get my lick back, okay, so you're a little bit, you know, a little bit obsessed with that, right? Look, judgment, I told you, Scorpio card, you're like, bitch, I'm gonna get you, right? I'm gonna wait on that shit, right? With the King of Cups, I'm not gonna show my emotion towards it. It could be over a masculine. Wise Counselor, Spirit, why? Why they always try and Scorpio, right? With the Ace of Pentacles, could have been over fucking money. You could be taking this person to court, okay? Uh, could have been an argument, all right? Three of Wands, future plans with the Two of Cups, okay? And the Moon, all right? So this person's coming towards you. Now, if you have a lawsuit against somebody, this person's just getting the paperwork or they're just realizing how fucked they are, okay? With the sun and the eight of swords, somebody thought they got away with something, but they did not, okay? With the two of pentacles, okay, the options. They have options of what they got to have to do with the seven of swords just for what happened, okay? With the lovers... It's like now they're choices, okay? They have to figure out how to get in your good graces or how to make something whole for you. Let's say it's a lawsuit. 
this person could be trying to settle with you like they're trying to fix it before it's all fucking bad okay with the strength card spirit why Uh, strength card with the eight of wands communicated communication is stiff okay so this person is kind of, is uh talking to you and you're giving them the stiff arm you're like mm, i'm not sure about that okay ten of cups but i love you right and the ace of wands yes but um you went and did something to get attention somewhere else right and now i'm holding back so it's like you're punishing somebody and i said that from the beginning Okay, but they, they're about to learn, Spirit, that you have a long vision. Spirit, can you show me? And a long memory. Spirit, can you show me for Scorpio? You have important conversation, and it's coming. You keep pushing it. Right? And a union and separation, right? So it's like they're in, they have to come fix something with you. Listen to your intuition. You may decide to do either. Okay. With new love here and ego, death and the chaser, it feels like something has switched up. Okay. You could have told them like, I'm really off this shit. I will go in a new direction. They're going to try to fix it. You may decide that you don't want to. You may feel like that's the ultimate punishment. Okay. With a secret admirer. All right. If they thought that you were just waiting around, they're about to find out um, that that was not the case, okay? So, you know, move your feet, lose your seat. If this person played with you in some way and they thought that they could you know, go, go in and out, um, they're going to find out when they get back that that shit is going to be fucked up, okay? Okay, so that's what I have for Scorpio. Aries, come through. Aries, gang, gang, come through. Pull up. Spirit, show me. You're welcome, hon. Okay. So you got prepared to be astounded. Send them love. Wish them peace. See them happy. Everyone always forever. And be prepared to be astounded. So what you're putting out there is coming back to you. And you have, you glow, we beam. Thanks. In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of the wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you shared, okay? So I feel like there was a part of you that felt like you gave to the wrong person. Looking for love in all the wrong places. But I feel like you're about to be rewarded in some way. Spirit, can you show me what is it that Aries cannot see? What is it that Aries cannot see, please? What is it that Aries cannot see? One card, please. Okay, you got the wheel with the four of uh, cups. Okay, uh, in the position of uh, what's coming in is the queen of pentacles. Spirit, what is spirit's advice for Aries? All out, my love. Um, what is... Uh, what is it they can't see and the most likely outcome all right it's time to let go of something okay so you got the wheel here spirit why with the chariot you're moving forward fast okay and it's because you're like getting away from somebody that broke your heart okay with the four of cups you're trying to convince yourself that you don't want them anymore, even though the Ace of Cups is still here. And there is like some crying over spilled milk, but you're turning a corner. You're starting to turn the corner. Here's the Queen of Pentacles, Spirit. Why? With the Hermit and the Queen of Cups. Some of you are dealing with somebody who has a choice between like an earth sign and, and a, you know, and you or something, or it's like, let's say that there's a mother figure involved and this person is being you know pulled in two directions and you may feel like uh, you abandoned me love don't live here anymore they could have did something that really um left you not liking how they moved Right? 
and I feel like, you know, I'm hearing you glow a wee beam, right? It's like I shine, you shine, right? Like you're coming back online in some way with the nine of wands here. Spirit's telling you to resist. You're going to see this person at an event. Three of Cups, okay? They're telling you to play cool, calm, and collected. They're telling you to, to, to you know, act unfazed, okay? Unfazed. With the Ten of Wands, it's going to fucking irk the, per the shit out of this person. With the Eight of Wands, going to make them want to communicate with you, okay? Keep it cool, calm, and collected, okay? With the Seven of Swords here, with the Strength card, one more, please. Six of Cups, the Star, and the Seven of Pentacles. Spirit is giving you that advice because they would deceive you again. Okay? And with the Strength card, Spirit is like telling you to strengthen yourself up because they're always going to try to come back. Okay? Because you seem like a shiny object, the Star to them, but it's never getting any further than the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? And it feels like if you change directions with the Three of Wands, you'll really get you know, um, what it is you want for the future if you put your your uh, healthy boundaries up, okay? You'll find your soulmate, but this person is kind of, you know, could be a Leo, but it feels like they, they're going to keep pulling your chain, okay? Because they don't want to let you go, all right? But they're not also, they're not offering you what you want. All right, and that's what I have for my Aries gang gang. It's like telling you to know your worth again, babes. Know your worth again. All right, so that's what I have for the 12 signs. Okay, this will be up on YouTube later once uh, TikTok finishes processing it. All right, guys. Uh, just like to say thank you to my returning uh, viewers. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste gang gang. Bye.